I put the monitor on my desk and I left my ultra wide in the back with a white background to show you something. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is my ultra wide monitor that I purchased almost three years ago now and I did a video on it and that video has got about 200,000 views so very popular but now it's time to upgrade to uh, 4K. I want to be able to view my footage from my Phantom 4 Pro in 4K and my Mavic Mini also in 2.7K. So I'm looking for a 32 inch 4K monitor and I got something interesting but I don't want this video to be about the specs on the new monitor because it's been around for a while. I just want to compare what you see in practice between a 34 ultra wide monitor and a 32 inch monitor they are very different so let's do a quick unboxing first of my new monitor and i'm going to put them side by side on my pc desk and i'll give you more information look at the package i got today from amazon a new monitor 32 inch from benq the ew3270u this is about uh, almost two years old I bought it now because the price has come down by almost half. So this is a good deal, I think. And uh, I needed to upgrade my ultra-wide monitor. I'll explain to you why when we get to my office. And I chose this one here because, well, it's 4K, but it's HDR. Uh, there is uh, also a Type-C input at the back. I chose it because of what they call brightness intelligence. And I need that in my office. And I'll show you why when we move this to my office we, it has also a low blue light and anti-flicker. It's a free sync. I have an AMD card and a good uh, contrast ratio. So uh, let's uh, open the box. So in the box we have a good... Uh, so in the box we have well packaged the uh, monitor. And uh, we have also... Uh, we seem to have like a beast or something over there. This is a very good uh, package, by the way. So we have the monitor over here. And we have the stand in uh, two pieces. I like the stand a lot, and I'll explain that when I put the monitor on my desk. There's a Type-C cable, a uh, display port, uh, mini display port that is not in the uh, supply uh, sheet. This is strange. And a power cable. And we have over here, we have a CD, a little card, warranty card and the user well actually the assembly manual i have the monitor upside down so we can see all the ports so we have two speakers one on each side we have the controls over here and here we have all the inputs we have two hdmi one display port one type c and we have here an output a jack for headphones I like this type of screw where you can very easily tighten it. I put the monitor on my desk and I left my ultra wide in the back with a white background to show you something. So if I sit down in front of my, my monitor, you can see here on one side, the ultra wide exceeds by, I would say about like an inch and a half. But they're both at the same height as you can see. And the 32 inch gives me more height at the top here. So my idea here is when I do video editing, the ultra wide is nice because the timeline is wider, but because it is not as high, your preview window for your video is smaller. It's going to be much bigger on the 32 inch. So I think it's going to be better. So I'm going to try for a few days and I'll update this video. Also, I said when I unpacked the monitor that I like this stand here. And the reason for that is that if you need to work and you have a book or sheets of paper, they hold like perfectly. I don't like the stands by LG or Samsung where it's a, like a, an arch. So you can't put really a book nicely on this thing. Also here, I like the BenQ because you have here uh, easy access buttons for HDR and the brightness intelligence. And you have the controls under over here like I showed before. And finally this brightness intelligence i wanted that because of this huge window here in my office 
So depending on the days, sometimes it's cloudy, sunny uh, in the evenings, I find that the Windows 10 uh, auto uh, dimming function does not work very well. So hopefully this is going to work better. So I'm going to use the monitor, like I said, for a few days and uh, I'll uh, give you an update. So guys, like you saw, when I got this monitor, it was mainly for video editing and I thought that having a very long uh, timeline would be useful. But after a while, like I showed, I realized that I was missing here the height for the preview screen. So I've been using my new monitor for about a week now and um, I love it. And this, there is one thing that I did not mention and it's that having a higher uh, or a bigger height gives you uh, easier access to web pages when you read. So I find that with the new 32 inch, I don't need to scroll with my mouse as often to see a full page of text. I was scrolling all the time over here. So that's interesting. Uh, for gaming also, uh, I did videos of uh, Shadow, for example, of Tomb Raider. Um, gaming is is a matter of preference. Uh, I, I enjoy gaming on a wide monitor, uh, but on my 32 inch, which is 16.9, of course, I enjoy it also. Uh, there are maybe, um, oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, this brightness intelligence works very well. You saw the huge window in my office. Sometimes it's very dark, cloudy. Sometimes it's very bright and it works beautifully. I really, really enjoy that feature on the uh, on the monitor. Uh, also, the the only thing that I don't like really is that there is no height adjustment. On my ultra wide, there is height adjustment as you can see, but on the uh, BenQ there is none. But there is a good tilt uh, option, and I find personally that I, I get a very good viewing angle. I don't have any issues with that. So. Um, yeah, very nice monitor. I can recommend it. Like I said, it's been around for a while, but the price now is so good that it made sense to me to get one at uh, this point. So uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, see you next time.